I know. No one knows. I didn't even put it on the Instagram. Nope. Facebook. I didn't put it on Instagram either, so you won't even know. Unless you stumble across my channel or you have notifications turned on, you're subscribed and all that good stuff. So I figured I would work on my little 18 scale ascent some more, um, seeing as how I completely botched it last week with putting the skid plate in backwards. And then the wife offered up dinner, so I had no time to sit around. So I have nothing going on today until one o'clock. So I figured I might as well do a YouTube live because there was no harm, no foul in that, right? Let's see if this phone that I normally don't use. What up, man? What's going on, Osborne? So yeah, now I can see the chat. Hopefully, we'll see. I got this little phone here I'm watching the chat on. Anyway, so we put our transmission in backwards um, last week, uh, end of the day, um, and then the wife offered up some food. So it was obviously time for me to get out of here. Hi, Doggo. Is someone out front? No one's out front? Okay, good. So now I've got to turn this thing around. Why is it being so difficult? There we go. And I've got to detach all the links to do that. So I wasn't looking forward to doing that last week. Now I figure screw it. I might as well do it and get it out of the way. The dog is very excited about something. I don't know what it is. Not much getting a list of parts I need for the 24th K5 Blazer. 24th K5 Blazer from who? The FMS one? Are you going to do a monstrous uh, K5? That would be pretty slick. I've seen those trucks. I want to order one. I'm just trying to keep it to working on one truck at a time. Finish one truck before I start another one. That has been my philosophy. Although I do have a um, Reefstar C Servo coming for this one and one other truck. What up, Slater? Not a whole lot, brother. Just uh, tinkering on this truck some more today. I realized last week when I ended this live, the live from last week, that I had put the skid plate in backwards um, because I couldn't put the battery tray where that's supposed to go. So now I am writing that wrong and uh, getting this thing around. Scale pulling truck. Okay, yeah, the SMS, F FMS, that's a slick truck, dude. I've been looking at those. Um, I ordered one for a customer the other day. Um, I didn't, he didn't, didn't unbox it or anything here, but I've seen videos on them. Them things look tough. I've been debating or was debating on swapping out this body for a different body, but I can't find a legitimate reason to. I don't know if you guys are all oh, you guys are familiar with the Ascent 18s or not, um, but pretty slick little body. The fender flares are a little wide. Yeah, nice, nice. They're a cool truck. Um, the side I'm running. These are the stock tires, which are we'll say 63 because I don't know for sure. So I these uh, Scorpios on there. The J Concept Scorpios, which are very close in size. Um, so I decided that I'm probably going to have to nip the uh, the part of this fender flare where it folds back down. I'm going to cut that off, see if it still rubs. Hopefully it doesn't. Easy tummy tuck on the ascent is to mount the skid up one chassis and use the bottom holes on the skid and links. That's not a bad idea. Um, I was looking at those um, the other day. I didn't know there's two holes in this chassis, though. That's news to me. So we'll investigate that right now. So, yeah. I know the links have the extra holes up high. Plug that in. The extra holes up high. Now you can't see it, really. But there's two sets of holes for the links. I know those will go up one, the, the upper links will. But I didn't know there's two holes in the chassis. So, hmm. Okay. Well, I got to take it all apart anyway, so let's uh, 
investigate that. So my thoughts on this was to go brushless out of the gate and then I didn't have the right motor, motor in stock, so I gotta order the right motor. Um, I was gonna do a micro in this. I'm not gonna do a micro in this anymore. I'm gonna do the full size 1400 KV, I, I believe it is, um, Komodo. Because I found in the TRX4Ms that I built with all the brass on them, they are not, um, they are not working out so well. I was surprised actually that um, those motors are getting really warm. Uh, and I know it's probably just because I've got too much weight in there and I'm pulling too much power because I've got the Reefs Micro 99s in there. And... All right. What do you mean? There isn't two holes in there for the skid plate. Those two in the center are for the skid plate. I mean, I guess I could... I guess I could pull it up one, but I don't know. I don't feel like I'm going to gain that much. I mean, a little but I don't mind the fact that these um, links go flat with the skid plate. So I feel like breakover angle wise, that wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a lot of benefit to doing that. I mean, to each his own, I'm not saying your way is wrong by any stretch, but yeah, I'm just thinking it's not gonna do me any good, any real good. So I'll just probably leave it the way it is because so far it seems like it's worked out pretty well. Um, down the line I might investigate or like if I get a, a second one, I might do it with the second one, just to see. Um, oh, and I was talking about these shocks on the same Saturday, saying that these were um, Panda Hobby, that they were stock on the CR18 Pro. They're not stock on the CR18 Pro. Um, these are the all red ones that come, I'm pretty sure I said on the Rock Van at least a couple times, but I know at one point I heard myself say that they were on the uh, CR18 Pro and they were the stock ones. These are not stock for that truck. These are upgrade shocks. So don't use the center holes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying for sure. I understand that I could just use the, the, um, the holes in the skid plate to kind of hold the skid plate in the frame with the holes in the frame. But I don't know. I feel like keeping everything kind of found, found the way it was engineered on this might be a good idea. And again, that's not to say your way is wrong by any stretch of the imagination. Make the skid completely flush with the bottom of the chassis rails. Yeah, it looks like it. I, I, I can totally view what you're, or picture what you're talking about. And it does seem like a, a decent idea. I, I just don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna compete with this thing or anything. So doing it to that extreme might not benefit me a whole lot. You know what I mean? If I was gonna compete with it, then that would, more than anything else, be pretty ideal with uh, getting that skid plate as far up in the chassis as possible. But I'm just, I just, I'm building these these little trucks just for my own kind of amusement. Although I have been back and forth tossing around the idea of putting a small crawler course in here. I might get with CCXRC Tony, seeing how he's local, and see if I can. Um, Get him to give me some pointers on how he built his, maybe more insight. All right. Now remember, we got to turn this around so it faces the right direction. I cannot believe I did that. All right. There we go. That's right. Now let's put the screws back in there. That's funny. I put the skid plate in backwards. Would be a good trail truck. See, now I don't get that. I've been hearing that. And again, not any offense, offense intended, but I, I keep hearing the trail truck thing with these trucks. And I think to myself, I don't wanna take these trucks outside. What up, Chris? Um, I don't wanna take my truck outside because they're just too small for me. Um, my 10 scale stuff, I used to go out with a bunch of guys I just don't, don't anymore just cause I don't have a lot of free time. But the last time I went out, I went out with my SCX-6 and I had a blast with that thing. And I went, went out by myself. I shot the YouTube video that's on this channel. I did, th that was all by myself. Um, so I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't really feel like these trucks would be all that much fun outdoors. Slayer Nation Rift. I just got rid of my Rift. Um, I didn't drive it as much as I thought I was going to. It's being a... Being a big, big giant basher, 
Well, not a big giant. I'm sorry, a scale basher. Always take my 24s outside. I have nothing indoor here. Why don't you make something? See, and that's what I'm thinking about here is my thought process is using the expanding foam, I'm gonna cut potentially a three foot-ish wide um, plywood, use two by fours together, so they'll equal basically a four by four, use those for table legs, and then build a frame. And then once I build a frame for that table, um, use the expanding foam on it. <laughs> Message retracted. I use that expanding foam and I'm thinking that whole back wall back there about doing that. So my thought process was to maybe, you guys can tell me what you think on this, maybe do, because I have the opportunity for a water feature. So right there is a water hose, right there is a drain in the floor. So I could do something cool for water and I know not a ton, um, but I was thinking about doing from here and I gotta clean up the walls and, and I would like plastic line or something, maybe uh, use that board for showers. All the way along this wall here and then all the way to about here. And then I've got a fan up there so I could even do, I don't know, maybe, or not fan, I have a hole so I could even utilize something for, for mounting fans and stuff like that. So I don't know. Most of my summer is spent on this bad boy or will be. Otherwise it's on the other bike. So I've been thinking about doing an indoor one. Honestly, I can't say that I'd be doing it for anyone else to use. I'd be just doing it kind of for me. Um, and a few guys, I would let a few guys run on it just because I have a few guys that come in here and hang out that I like hanging out with. Don't have any room in your small duplex? Yeah, that's fair. But the nice thing is, do you live by yourself or do you live with the old lady or what do you got going on? Or significant other? Uh, I know it's 2024. I don't want to offend anybody. A joke. Um, but if you had even just a wall, you and the wife, okay. You could even do, I mean, honestly, dude, this wide, you could do three levels right here. So this is, an, I think I built this table 10 foot. So you could do... And it wouldn't take a lot of lumber or money to do, but you could do plywood and some two by fours to keep it cheap. And I would use screws. I hate using nails. Yeah, keep it high enough for the dogs. Like this table's pretty high. This table to me is, I'm not standing right now, but I'm six, I'm six two, so this is about waist height. So this would be perfect height for an adult um, to run on. But yeah, you figure if you did something that was this wide, which this is, I want to say this is even two foot. You could do two or three pass of travel, and then you could do another level that was at least two pass of travel, and then put these cheap LED lights underneath it, and then you could do another level. So you could do a three level, I mean, you could do it in your hobby room. If you have a hobby room at your house, you could make a really small 24 scale course. That's an 18th. That's the really nice thing about these small trucks is you don't need a ton of room. That's why I think I was drawn back into these so easily is because of how small they are. So if I wanted to build a crawler course, hell, I could probably put a crawler course in my office in the hobby shop if I wanted to. So I don't know. Just a thought. Obviously, I know everybody has different uh, opportunities to mess around with stuff like that. Some people's wives and I understand it. I hear, I hear a lot from people that come in um, I hear from, they'll, they'll come in with their wives or girlfriends and they'll always shoot their shot with, oh, what does your wife think about this? This is my wife's idea. This whole hobby shop was the wife's complete idea. So she supports anything and everything I decide to do. She usually beats me to it. Like when I was talking about buying a new bike, she was the one that kind of said, well, what color are you going to get? I was like, I don't even know. RCs make me get out of the house. Okay, all right. Hey, then if that works for you and that gets you out, because otherwise you end up like me, you can be a roly-poly guy. Um, I totally understand that. And more power to you, then continue doing what you're doing, because if it works for you, if it work, if it works for you, then it works for you. And how the hell did I get this axle backwards and I can't get it back the other way? I don't feel like I did much of anything with this truck. Oh, 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 what do we got? What do we, oh, get your other one. Get out of there. So yeah, if, if RCing gets you out of the house, brother, then by all means, don't change a thing. 
especially don't change it for somebody else. Eh, we're all fat dudes, man. What's a good thing and a bad thing about being a fat dude? Good thing is that means you're, good, you're healthy and you're having a good, a happy life. The bad thing is means it's going to fucking kill us all. So we got we to gotta moderate. I'm trying now. I'm, I'm going back to my water every day. I go through two or three of these a day. I've gotten rid of pop. I really like coffee. So I've, I've slowed down on coffee once every couple of weeks. Because I go through usually a pot back to back. I'll, I'll do two cups of coffee back to back. So huh, look at there. I already got my other one. And I've already actually drank it out of this one. So yes, I've done more water. And I know not everybody likes water. I get that. I love that stuff. Um, I'm bougie. I need that smart water. I won't drink just any old water from Myers. Yeah, dude, you got to kill that coffee, man. That that'll that's not good for your heart. That's not good for your your a, n a number of things. I'm sure your doctor has already threatened you with all sorts of knowledge that you're like, ah, so what? But yeah, I get you, brother. Trust me, I do. Um, so yeah, I'm cutting out a lot of the garbage from my diet. Now I got to get off the sugars because I'm way too, too dependent on sugars. Um, I'm, I'm always in, uh, I get in the mode of when I'm drinking coffee, I literally will break out a candy bar, a donut, another donut, a bag of chips. I'm done with that. So I'm going to try to, um, just flip it over to water, maybe ease, it, ease up on the, on the sweet stuff while I'm at work at least all day. I'm trying to live as long as I can. So anyway, that's my rant, my goal. But good luck to you on your journey. I hope you succeed at whatever it is you're trying to do. And I hope you come out smelling like a rose on the other side. So I ain't here to knock nobody's life choices or dreams or life aspirations or any of that stuff. That's not for me. That's for you. All right. Now, see, you got me thinking about doing this, this bump in the skid plate. All right. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I was going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to put it back stock location. Hopefully. Why aren't you lining up? I was thinking about it. Because there's a place in Kalamazoo that's also doing indoor mini competition in Kalamazoo, Michigan here called Never Enough RC. And I've been really wanting to check them out. Um, they do competitions, I think, every Sunday or every other Sunday or something like that. And I, I got with their hobby shop owner and talked to him a little bit because I want to have him help me kind of do a course. They've got um, a three or four level course, three level course. So if you guys are in Michigan, check out Never Enough RC. They've got a sweet indoor crawler course. And there's other ones, of course. Um, but help the new guys out, you know what I mean? They ain't got a ton of money, I'm sure. Well, no, nope, let me not speak on their behalf because I don't know them. Um, anyway, help the small, small indoor, you know, small shops out because they will support you with your parts. It's always nice when you have a hobby shop that carries stuff you need. I love the fact that I can go out there on the wall and pretty much grab whatever parts I need for whatever build. The only reason I can't get the motor for this truck that I want to put in here is because I sold them all and I haven't put another order in with a main yet. That I will be doing probably this week. Um, I just haven't done it yet. A main. Oh no, I can order straight from Fury Tech. So Chad from Fury Tech, if you're ever watching any of my videos, shout out to you for giving me the phone call on uh, including me in the Helios family of uh, RC sales. And uh, yeah, I will be doing my order from you guys probably. Hmm. I don't know. I can't put a number on it. It depends on my customers. How much stuff I sell is how much stuff I'm able to order. I put in a Vanquish order the other day. I did order some Fury Tech stuff. Placing an order next week, Thursday with me. Are you here, Osborne RC? Are you in Michigan or are you um, going through a hobby shop? Do you have a local hobby shop? I guess that would be the other question. I don't, I'm don't. i not familiar with everybody's names on, on Instagram, or I'm sorry, on YouTube. If I've met you in person in real life, I am very sorry for not 
acknowledging your presence here in Michigan, if you are in Michigan. But if you are, go through your local, support your local guys. They need your, they need your support. At least if you want to continue to be able to shop with them. All right. I always screw these links up when I put them in. I always put the ones on the top of the axle. When I put them in the skid plate, I put them directly in line with where they don't go. Put them straight forward instead of out like that, where you're supposed to. I always forget. All right, that's barely long enough. I even thought about bumping these um, these links up to the furthest hole in the chassis, but I thought then I would have my skid plate hang down to be a hang-up point. I live in Kansas and was going to order from you, and we are thinking of moving to Michigan. Don't like hobby town here in town. That's fair. Yeah, we have some hobby shops that people, they'll tell me they don't care for, and I understand it. Um, I guess that's a double-edged sword. Because if you, if you want them to have your part, or if you want them to order parts for you, we have a hobby shop in town, and they are, no offense to them, because I don't, I understand it. Some of the guys that work there just work there. They don't do... They don't do the RC that they work in that department, let's say. Let's say they do RC, just not the department they're working in. So you'll ask them a question about, a, let's say, a crawler and they're a plane guy. They're kind of gonna, they're gonna ask you, uh, do you have a part number? Uh, do you have, you know? So usually what I would recommend is if you're having problems with your local hobby shop, is educate them or go in there um, with your parts kind of already kind of mapped out what you want, because sometimes, those guys will have stuff and you'll be surprised. Like I have guys that'll come in here looking for stuff. The employees are rude as hell and the owner is even worse. Really? That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, then in your case, you're justified with shopping online. I get it. A lot of people will say I'm rude and I'm not rude necessarily, but I'm kind of to the point, which is, I don't like to beat around the bush. I'm not gonna lie to you to make a sale. So if you wanna buy something from me, let's say you wanted to buy this Fury Tech ESC, and you were on the fence if you were going to go brushed or brushless. That's a brushed only ESC. I would say spend a little bit more money. Hold on, Carter. I'll get to you in a second. Uh, spend a, save a little bit of money and buy the brushed brushless one. That way, there you can convert back and forth. Need a Lizard Pro? So do I, buddy. This is not it. I have an Iguana Pro. I don't have any Lizard Pro, so I'm going to get them. What trans do you need? Anyway, hold on. Let me jump into Carter's. The best cheap starter RC Carter is, honestly, it's going to be, you feel out your budget. So let's say you have a $200 budget. Keep it simple that way. Um, I know people are going to hate on me for saying Red Cat because Red Cat in the past in their beginnings wasn't the best. They were a good cheap RC. They were a cheap RC. We'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know about good or bad because I never had any early Red Cats. Um... I don't know, if you want a crawler, then you can't beat the Red Cat Everest 10. Um, it's kind of a kid's truck, monster truck, or the Everest Gen 7 Pro or Sport. Those are both good trucks. If you want a go-fast truck, stay away from Amazon. Um, don't buy your RCs off Amazon. And the only reason I say that is because you don't have any support and a lot of times your parts are proprietary, meaning that part will only work for that truck. So if you break, arm is not a bad one. Arm is, I was going to get to them. Um, but if we're talking crawler, I would say start with Red Cat or even the, any of the 24 scale stuff because they all seem to have a bunch of part support now. If you're going basher, then yeah, arm is a good one. Arma doesn't have a ton of really cheap ones though, do they? I mean, I've had the Groms in here. Those are pretty cool. But there's cheaper than that that are the same quality. Um, I have a, I can't remember the name of it. It's out there on the shelf. I sell them for like 90 bucks. They come with a battery. They're ready to run. They're brushed. They're slow. They're 16th, 16th scale. Um, see, now Techno, 
Osborne, you're getting into the expensive trucks. Techno is not a starter truck, not a cheap guy truck. Usually, usually those come as kits. I don't, I don't remember if those are RTRs anymore. But yes, Techno is a good one. Uh, starter truck Carter, if you're looking to get into a basher, I'd say find something in your budget. Do a bunch of research. There you go. Find something in your budget. Do a bunch of research with YouTube. Um, I call it YouTube University. There's a ton of guys that have done reviews, and if they're truly biased, then it'll show in their review. Um, there's a bunch of guys like RC Review. He does a bunch of really good reviews where he's he's he likes what he likes, but he's not going to not call out the elephant in the room. So he might be a good one to follow. Um, RC Every Day, he gets stuff, I'm assuming, he gets stuff sent to him for free, so I feel like that makes him biased. I pay for all my RCs. I don't get nothing for free. So if you ask me a question about an RC I have, I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, it's probably why I don't sell Red Cat, because the representative I talked to on the phone, I told him that their electronics are trash. Oh, well, probably hurt his feelings. I don't care. That's the truth. If you buy, if you were to buy, if I had Traxxas in here and you were to buy an RTR from me, I would tell you, replace the electronics immediately because I think they're garbage. Anyway, um, so yeah, do your research. Do I have a website I can look at? I got a Facebook page, buddy. Um, YouTube, I've got a bunch of stuff on here, but I've got a Facebook page. It's Crawler Space RC LLC um, on Facebook. You can shoot me messages there. I do sales. I will ship. Um, and we can. you can do purchases. Osborne, this is for you as well. Um, if you buy from me and I have to ship to you, um, sometimes I can get lucky maybe in drop ship. I, ship. I haven't tried that yet with anybody like A-Main or, or Horizon Hobby. Sometimes I can have you pay me. I have them shipped to you. Um, so that would negate some shipping, I think. I, I'm not 100%. But... Um, If you see something on my page when I'm walking through, that's the other thing, uh, Carter. I walk through my hobby shop when I get orders in, and I tell guys, hey, check it out. Got this in today. That's on sale, blah, blah, blah. Um, so some anyway, payment. You can do payment over the phone via credit card. There's an extra charge of like 5 bucks, I think it is, for taking a card over the phone. No real big deal. Whereas PayPal is 4% of your total um, money that you send me. Um, and Or I can do PayPal, and then you just cover the 4%. And then we'll figure out what the shipping is and then uh, go from there. So there's two ways you can order from me online. I don't have an online store. When I first started, I, I was very anti-online sales as far as store, making a store. Like I'll, again, like I said, I'll sell to you online. It doesn't matter. But I was anti-online store because I felt like that, that the stores, like a lot of the stores you find online, they cut hobby shops throats and i don't know how they do it and stay in business some of them are investigated some of them are ran by just hobby shop distributor or hobby distributors so i know rc four wheel drive has a in has a uh page on amazon and they cut my throat i can't even sell my products that i buy from them for the same price sometimes that they put it on amazon for which blows my mind but whatever they get everything from china anyway so they're not even a, a a u.s retailer they're a middleman i've found the company that they buy through um online so yeah the main thing is going to be uh now um just do your research on your rcs that you're looking for figure out what you want figure out what's in your budget figure out what's going to be doable for you and then buy it i'm needing the stellar trans and the brushed ESC, preferably Fury Tech, brushless. Um, brushless ESCs, I've got, I'm going to do an order. Um, Stellar, what motor is this? This is Micro Komodo, so I don't have the Stellar. I, I probably do, I'd have to look. Missouri, I don't know your whereabouts. I hear what you said about Traxxas. I found a crawler for 200 bucks. Carter, be careful with buying used. Make sure you get to inspect it first. Don't have somebody ship it to you. Um, and have someone meet you at a local hobby shop. If you go to a local hobby shop and those people know what they're talking about. Like if you wanted to buy, you lived in, I'm in Michigan, by the way. If you wanted to buy from me, uh, I don't think I have a Stellar. I was born, sorry. I got sidetracked. Um, if, if you were going to buy a truck off Marketplace, let's say, and you had the guy meet you here and you wanted me to kind of middleman your deal, I would look your truck over and I would be honest with you and I would uh, 
you know, give you the nod if the truck is worth what the guy selling it said it was worth. If it wasn't, I would say it's not, and I don't care if I hurt his feelings. Too bad. Um, don't sell junk to people that don't know any better. So that's kind of my philosophy on that. But st as far as a Stellar goes, I don't think I have one. I'll have to look in the case and see what I've got out there because I don't do a big Fury Tech order because I've sold a crap ton of the more popular stuff and I haven't replenished that yet. So I've got to do that first before I do anything else. Look at this. They've got a plastic ball in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a plastic U-joint ball in there. Plastic! Why would you put plastic in a drive shaft? <sighs> Dumbest thing ever. Just let me know when you do. I'm building a brushless Yoda Hilux Slayer Pro build. Oh, nice. You know what I've been thinking about doing? And this is going to kind of sound weird, but I've been thinking about doing that w WPL toys that they were doing for the scam on the internet a while back. Obviously, now I can get just the truck. The Hilux Toyota, I think it's 18th scale, the little red ones. Um, could you look at anything over pictures if I find one used? I can, but that's not going to do you any good if the ESC is junk or if the servos junk or if all the hardware is stripped out. You know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff I would look for. Um, make sure your, your electronics aren't stripped out. Make sure you've got, you know, even if it's just a bone stock truck RTR, that would be better if someone had one that they never touched, they didn't do anything aftermarket to it, then yes, go ahead and buy it with confidence. Um, unless it's a red cat um, ascender, then save your money and go buy a brand new one for 200 bucks. Um, you're not getting any deals there. You're getting hosed. So that would be the only kind of stipulation I would warrant or I would worry about then. Um, Cause you can get a brand new, like an Everest 10 which is kind of the monster truck looking crawler they have for 170 bucks. Got the Flub RC Hilux cabin bed. Huh, I'm not familiar with that Flub. Is that the guy who's doing some 3D printing stuff? Because if it is, I'm not even sort of, I don't have a clue who that is. I've heard that name, I know I have. I'm starving. I'm going to have to order lunch at some point. Get some delivery dropped off. They put these drive shafts on backwards where I did. I did. I forgot I've taken these off already and put them back on. Usually I have a thing with putting sleeved part on the axle. Company used to be called Blubber Stuffers. <laughs> This is start, starting to sound weirder and weirder, dude. Flubber stuffers and uh, flub RC. Okay. It's your world, buddy. I'm just in it. I'm just messing with you, man. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of them. Which, no big deal. I've stopped listening and paying attention to much in the RC world now unless customers talk about it. I've just gotten my stuff that I enjoy and I'm kind of ignorant to everything else just because I don't pay enough attention. There's a lot of really cool stuff out there that, like I've had guys talk to me about rally cars, that's the Sen rally car. Tire inserts, okay. Yeah, people are talking to me about the Sen rally car the other day and I've never paid any attention. And I'm not a big rally car guy, but I saw that and I was like, all right, that's kind of cool. I actually kind of like that. Looks pretty slick. Makes me want to every now and again bust out and my outdoor fast stuff. All right, so now we gotta, well, mission successful at least. I turned the ESC around, or the center skid, skid plate around. I got the rear links attached, and I gotta just attach the fronts. So what do you guys got going on this afternoon? Anything exciting? Are you just chilling or? Everybody get out of work early or at work. <laughs> I got some guys I know that are at work that watch videos and stuff. It's a company that makes the slime balls. Oh, no shit. That's cool. Okay. So they've already got a, a not a history, but they've already got a ton of experience with uh, injection molding and stuff like that. So they probably have a pretty decent product then, I'd have to imagine. Oh, my goodness. 
O-ring. I hate the O-ring things. Why is my phone acting so weird? Or my watch acting so weird? Get in there. Jeez Louise. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it just drops. I love that. You get it lined up with the hole and it just falls off. Yeah, it's funny. They do make a bunch of stuff. I feel there's a bunch of those companies out there nowadays that make a bunch of product and they use a bunch of different names. Like you've got Easy RC, you've got FMS, you've got Rock RC. There's just a bunch of them out there that you you have no idea you're actually buying one brand over another. You're like, I hate buying from, let's say, FMS. I'm only going to buy Easy RC. Or you say, I'm, I'm not going to buy from FMS or Easy RC. I'm only going to buy from Rock Hobby or Rock, yeah, Rock RC or something like that. And they're all the same thing. We live at nine, your time tonight, Dave. Okay, uh, nine o'clock, mm, that's a tight fight for me. Um, but if I can remember, I'll get my crap together and I'll try and jump on here at nine. Cause I usually, when I'm at home, I got a iPad, I'm working artwork and I'll have um, YouTube going in the background. So I try to keep up on people's channels and stuff. I'm just not the greatest at it. That's why I don't, you know, don't get butt hurt if I have guys, oh man, you didn't see my live? You suck. Meh, whatever. This isn't something that dictates your life. Unless you make money off of it, then it does, and that's awesome for you. I, on the other hand, don't make money off this. I am not famous. I am not film savvy like some of these guys that do really cool editing and stuff. I am usually just trying to be be who I am all the time on here and not a persona for YouTube or the masses. Ah, you suck. That's why I thoroughly enjoy profanity. Unfortunately for most people that watch my channel, they're like, oh, he said a bad word. Sure did. Come on, get in there. There you go. Looky there, you're acting nice. So what do you guys think of this build so far from what you can see? Kind of want to just buy the parts one or two at a time and build one. See, now that's what I've done too. Um, I bought I bought this truck. This is the um, TRX4M. Now, me saying this doesn't mean I don't like Traxxas' products, just their electronics. Um, if I want to hop on the panel, I can have Austin pass on the link. Send me a link, um, but don't be mad at me and hate me forever if I don't click on it, join in. I would love to, absolutely, but at 9 o'clock, usually I'm home. So usually that's kind of my wind down time. I usually get out of here about quarter after 7 or so. Um, I do Again, I do appreciate the, the offer, but I think I'll just watch. So that makes, makes me be able to kind of... Yeah, have that going on in the background and, and drawing and working on stuff because I don't know if you know I own the tattoo shop too. Um, but uh, Carter, back to this. Building your own is not a bad idea, but um, honestly, you'll end up spending more money with hardware. This, it's the stupid stuff. It'll be the hardware. It'll be the, all any metal parts are going to cost you a bunch of money like axle shafts. Um, let's say you're building a stock truck. Axle shafts will cost you more money. So you're not, thanks, man. Uh, your your better option is buy a truck and then modify it yourself because that you can do over time. Mean In the meantime, you can um, build, or I'm sorry, drive the truck that you bought the way you bought it. So um, yes, you can build a truck, absolutely, and build a really cool one, but I think you're going to spend a lot more money building it than... Yeah, yeah, dude, for sure. I'll, I'll try and jump on. Absolutely. Um, I just, I just don't want to tell you. I don't want to make promises. I can't. I, I don't know. I can come through on. Um, but yes. Yeah, so, yeah. If you're gonna build one, just be cautious. Um, that's it's gonna get pricey. Yes, you can stretch stretch it out so it won't be as pricey over time. So that's kind of cool. But the cost is still gonna be there. Dang it! I need so much more hardware. 
that I don't have, and I just not, I have it, I just didn't get it out. And I don't know where the hell I put it all. And I have random hardware sitting here. I don't know if I told you guys this, um, but I took this truck apart. Um, I got it last week. What's today? Tuesday. I got it last week, Tuesday? Got it back here, didn't put a battery in it, took it apart, started to work, thinking about working on it, collecting parts. And then I decided it would make a better live video if I just did it via live video so I could kind of answer any questions you guys may have had about this truck. And then, so I had screws and stuff sitting out that I didn't know where they came from. So that's what I'm dealing with now. Which, oh well, whatever it is, what it is. But it's, it's funny because I have screws sitting out that I don't know where they go. I have obviously clearly no issue with my hard work, hardware. Mias has some good kits and Tex Texoma RC has some good kits and Jura has some good kits. Yeah, good thing is they don't break the bank either. Yeah, a lot of the 24 scale stuff, all day long, dude. I do on Facebook so I can... My name is uh, Dave Smith on Facebook. No, it's not my la real last name. My real last name is Mayville. I just didn't put my real last name on Facebook. It's a long story because I had it. Dave Anarchy Inc. tattoos and someone reported me back when you had to use your real name on Facebook. So I changed it on Facebook to Smith. I was like, fine, Smith then. And they let it be without me like having to send a copy of an ID or a bill in. And I was like, okay, fine. I don't care. Um, my other Facebook that I don't use anymore is Dave Anarchy Inc. Tattoos. So stupid. Um, so now I try to change my name to my last name on Facebook to my real last name, and they want me to send in a bunch of stuff. I'm not doing it. Fuck them. They can eat a dick. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for me on Facebook, and it'll be me sitting with my bald head back to the camera and an Anarchy Inc. Tattoos t-shirt on, and I'm working on one of my Harleys. I'm being lazy today. I got four and a half inches of fresh snow here in western New York. What the hell, man? How come everybody's getting all the snow and Michigan isn't getting any? Well, Grand Rapids isn't getting any. Um, normally we have snow here in Michigan that's two or three foot on the ground for the whole winter. We've gotten snow here that's been on the ground and stayed for more than, let's say, three or four days, two times. Other than that, we haven't gotten nothing for snow. It's, I mean, these little weirdos with their, their whole theory of the uh, polar ice caps melting and the, and the what, what else? What's the other global warming? I don't think it's global warming. I think the, uh, the poles have, are starting to shift. Conspiracy, get your aluminum hats, guys, because I get weird like that. Um, but I genuinely think the poles are shifting, and they do it every, from what I remember reading, they do it every 10,000 years, and we're 14,000 years deep, and they haven't shifted yet. So if they do, they'll just... Whoosh, They'll do it and kill everything on the planet. I don't want the snow. See, I don't mind it. I got a FJ Cruiser. I got a 2015, uh, 2012, sorry, FJ Cruiser. I don't mind the snow because I like throwing my truck in four-wheel drive and driving like an asshole. Um, so I like snow. Uh, but I also am of the mindset that if it's going to be cold, just be snowy until it's not supposed to be anymore. Then rain for a while to wash the salt off the road so I can get out on my bike and then I can put a thousand miles on my bike a month. This cold but no snow is it sucks because I can't ride my bike. It's not rainy enough to kind of wash the roads clean, so I could just say screw it, I'll bear it. I mean, there's just no opportunity to ride like I would like to, and it's kind of annoying that we're dealing with this the way we are here in Michigan. But it is what it is. And it's funny because I see some of these states, these people will put videos up on their on their uh, Facebooks and they've got, you know, guys, other guys that drive FJs on the FJ pages and they've got two, three, four, five foot of snow. And I'm like, ah, oh, that'd be awesome. Going to a big, giant, empty parking lot. Need about three weeks of sun to dry the fields out. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. But yeah, I see all these guys doing these four-wheel drive donuts and stuff in parking lots covered in snow. And we ain't getting none of that here in Michigan. So it is what it is. We're just stuck with the uh, bitter cold weather that cuts through you like a razor blade. 
and uh, no snow. So no, no, no even real reason for it to be that cold. This dreary, cloudy day stuff, I don't mind that. I don't get depressed over dark and dreary days, but I do like to get out in either the cold, snow, or the sun. I wonder how long this little stocker servo is gonna last on this little guy. I'm still gonna run the stock servo till my reefs gets in. That should be actually on its way here now. I'm hoping it gets here er, middle of this week. So I'll be running the reefs micro 99 servo on here. Um, and I will be running the 1400 KV Komodo motor in here, the bigger revolver motor. Get over there, you stupid. Oh, there we go. And yeah, so I do like the way this body. I do like to find you on Facebook and I can't find you. Just look up the hobby shop, brother. Crawler Space RC LLC. Um, it should be the same thing that's on this live video, just a, a giant off road tire with a beadlock wheel. And this has a CS in the middle. Um, it's nothing fancy. I haven't I haven't jazzed it up. I haven't churched it up dirt. So there you guys go. I got the transmission in there the right way. Yay, go me. Oh, I got to put the battery tray back in there. So yeah, um, it's the same logo on Facebook as it is on here. So that should help. Um, so yeah, just look for the Facebook page. Got a brother that lives around Grand Rapids and he's been wanting to ride his bike. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, it's it's insane. Um, the, the riding, the places you can ride in Michigan. I mean, the nice thing is I always tell people I try, and get, try to get lost going east or west or north. And the, they're always like, aren't you worried you'll get on some road and you don't know where you're at or you'll get lost. I'm like you literally can't get lost in Michigan because no matter where you go, you're going to hit water. And then you just turn around and go back the other way for a while. So you can't get lost. If you're going to hit Chicago, Detroit, Ohio, one of those states that are under us, you're going to know because the highways are going to start to turn to crap and it's going to be just people everywhere. So yeah, you can't get lost in Michigan. I mean, you could get, I would worry about getting lost in Michigan if I was on foot in the middle of a forest because I'm not a, uh, outdoors person, but no, I'm not going to worry about on my motorcycle getting lost. I've got a six gallon tank. That'll give me three, 400 miles two 300 miles minimum. No, I'm not going to get lost. Where's your brother from in Michigan? Oh, there you go. Yeah. I followed it. Like the page, Carter. You got to like the page. Like the page. Do all the cool YouTuber, Facebook nonsense that'll make me rich and famous. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but like the page. That way there it'll give you um, notifications as well. Um, and it'll make it easy to message me, I think. I don't know. It makes it easier if you like the page. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. So, yeah, I've almost got this truck to the point of maybe being able to drive it. I haven't driven it yet. And I don't want to put the ESC receiver back in here because I don't want to use the stock radio, even though there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't want to use the stock radio. Just like me changing the shocks, there was nothing wrong. That's funny, Chris. Your brother's name's James or he lives in James, Michigan? Jamestown, Michigan? There's Jamestown that's out by Jenison. Um, that would make him a rich person or a farmer, one of the two, in Jamestown. No offense to the people that live in Jamestown. Just you motherfuckers got money. I ain't got money. I live in Northeast Grand Rapids, not the nice Northeast Grand Rapids. I live in the original Northeast Grand Rapids that, you know, gunshots all night long, car chases, stuff like that. I don't mind it. Some people that are a little more passive are a little intimidated by that stuff. We have a Northeast Grand Rapids that is very, very uppity. They're, ho, 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 my, my house is, my cheap one is million five. 
which I ain't got no, no ill will towards that, good on him. If I could live like that, I would, but I can't, so I don't. All right, I just got to decide now, what do I have left to do to this that I can do without having my motor, my ESC, and my servo here? I still don't understand. Red Cat gave you the upgrade part of that brass link, but not this plastic one. They don't replace the plastic one here, just the brass one below it. Why did they do that? Come on, Shade from Red Cat or Nathan. Call me. Send me that link. Call me. You don't have to call me. Um, oh, battery tray. I'm going to put that back in. That is what I screwed up and realized last time. It's kind of cool that the battery tray goes in through the frame rails. Boop. Four screws and it's there. Run these little shorties through there because it doesn't need the ones that are eight miles long that I think are the ones that I pulled out of there. But yeah, Carter, if you see something on the Facebook page, um, check it out, shoot me a message. I've got a ton of videos I do on the Facebook page. Um, again, like I said, anytime products come in, um, even sales, if you want to buy stuff via the sales I'm holding that I say are in person, um, if, we, if you get a hold of me, we'll work something out. Um, I like to keep my sales to in-person just because, especially with cash, I can take the taxes and eat those. That's that's on me if I do that. Um, and I can give you a better price than the suggested retail price. Um, and that helps your pocket out. That helps my pocket out doing it in cash. But if I do it on card, then my tax lady sees it and I got to cover the 6% sales tax on that. And she will choke me out if I don't charge that on credit cards. So yeah, that's essentially how we do that. All right. Oh man, I've got scratches in my brass links already and they have, this truck hasn't even touched anything. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, right there, doot doot. Super one-handed. What up, man? So yeah, we're just shooting this little live before we go, before we open the hobby shop in six-ish minutes. Um, it's funny, I changed all the stuff off this truck and now I have all this stock stuff, skid plate, shocks, shocks, servo mount, um, differential covers, front portal boxes, inner and outer, link set, and wheels and tires for this Ascent 18 that now I'm not going to use. And there's no point in me keeping them around for backups because everything that's on here is brass. If I bend or break something that's on here, then I got bigger issues. This whole thing will have to go in the trash. Can't see the rest of the chat. Uh, scroll. Because I had to do that. That's why I did my extra phone up here. Um, so that way there I can see the scroll, see the chat. So, yeah, I don't know what to do with all my extra stuff. And I have that, too, not only with this truck, but I have it with both of my TRX-4Ms and my Mias trucks. I've got two of the Mias trucks. So, uh, Chris, you mentioned, I think it's Chris that mentioned the Mias racing kits and Enjora kits. I've got the Fun Haver. I've got two of the metal Mias trucks. And I've got two of the plastic ones. One of them is the raffle truck that we're giving away. Which, oh, there you go. Hold on, let me go grab that truck. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Can't see the rest of the chat. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to show you something that some of you might not have seen.
So, for you guys who might not know about the raffle that's going on, I don't know how you don't know, but let's say you don't know because you haven't been on my channel very long. Carter, this one might be for you. This is a Mias Ripper TRX4M build with the headlights, the light bar. Um, it's got the Fury Tech um, 2S ESC in it, which it should soon have the 3S. But it's also got a battery in there. A battery slid down inside of this panel right here. It's got high clearance links from Next Racing. It's got portal axles from I don't remember where. And it will be getting a Reefs RC servo because right now it's got the JX. And it's just not good. I'm not impressed with it. I thought I would be. I'm not. Not even a little. Yeah, I don't like the servo at all. Whereas I'll show you the TRX4M servo. I'm not having any problems with that one. Granted, it also has a metal um, servo horn on it, but I don't feel it should fight me this much. Anyway, this one's going to get one. Beadlock wheels, Scorpio tires. I've already driven it and tested it. That's why I know the servo sucks, and I'm not going to let whoever wins this truck via the raffle get a crappy servo. So you're going to get an all-the-way pimped-out truck. This is... Uh, about right now I'm at like $749 into this build um, we've got even the shocks are I think the shocks are next racing on here can't tell but they're TRX 4M next racing shocks. really nice build it aluminum uh, threaded shock bodies and it also will come with an avatar radio battery everything you need uh, minus a charger I don't think I have a charger for one of the batteries if I can find you one, I'll find you one and throw it in. But this truck is a raffle truck. So $20 a ticket. We can do credit card over the phone. Um, I'm at 15 tickets sold right now. I'm going to sell 36. When the 36 ticket sells, I will be giving this truck, and not this radio, this is my radio, but a radio just like this that's out my display case. I will be giving these away. Sending it to you in the mail if you don't live in Michigan. I don't care where you live. You can get this soon to be $800 truck when I put the reef servo in here, sent to your door for $20 a raffle ticket. You can do um, Crawler Space RC LLC at yahoo.com. Make sure you cover the fee. It's only like $1.60 or something. So if you do 20 bucks, do 2160 or something to that equivalent. Do your own math, 4%, whatever it is. Um, but whoever wins, if you, if Bob wins, um, whoever Bob is, um, then I'll just get a hold of you because put your in the notes section of your PayPal transaction, put black Mias Racing raffle truck um, and your phone number and your address and your full name. And then I write that on your raffle ticket that goes in my Tumblr. And again, once I sell um, 36 tickets, I think it is to cover the cost of this truck. Then I will do the raffle live on Facebook, maybe on YouTube as well. Um, and I will announce the winner of this truck. And when the winner is announced, you'll have 24 hours to get a hold of me. You've even got metal drive shafts on this beast. Um, you'll have 24 hours to get a hold of me. And then I will go on to the next raffle. I'll pull another ticket. We'll do another live and I'll pull another ticket. Um, so, yeah, if you guys don't know, now you know. And you can also call me over the card um why is credit karma texting me kiss my ass i've already done my taxes um you can do a credit card over the phone just we'll add five bucks to that so you're cheaper doing it on um uh, paypal and once the final ticket is sold again like i said i'll do the live and then we'll ship you out your brand new it's not brand new i drove it um but i guess you want me to drive it so i i'm that's why you're going to get a reefs rc servo in here because this one is just, I don't like it. It's, um, I don't remember who it is and I can't tell right now, but I don't like it. I, I thought I, I thought it was okay. And it is for, like if this was an RTR servo, it'd be fine. But you're going to get a badass reef servo. Maybe even a brass one. I might even throw a brass reef micro 99 in here. So this truck is big pimping. And it gives you an idea. That's the brass Reefs Micro 99. So maybe I'll throw a brass one in here, which is a $100 servo. So that'll up it to $850 for total money into the truck. But so anyway, there you go. This truck, buttery smooth suspension. She's, she's like butter.
Um, so that is our raffle truck. And uh, I think for now, my fine feathered friends, I'm going to book it and open up the hobby shop for the day. It is currently 102, and we'll see if there's anybody. There's a truck sitting out there. I don't think they're for me, though, but it might be for the smoke shop next door. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Stay warm if you're in somewhere cold. If you're somewhere hot, stay cool. And uh, we'll see you kids for the next one. Great afternoon. See you guys. And...